Hello everyone, welcome back to Video Hub and uh, today we are uh, diving into the world of electronics and we have an exciting topic to dive into current circuits filters specifically we will uh, be comparing two popular types Bessel and Butterworth filters so if you have ever wondered about the differences and advantages of these filters uh, then you are uh, in the right place uh, but before we jump in uh, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you have never miss out on your on our contact now let's get started before we compare Bessel and Butterworth filters uh, let's uh, quickly refresh our memories on what current circuit filters are and why they are essential in various electronic applications mm, so in electric uh, in e sorry in electronic circuits, filters play a crucial role in allowing certain frequencies to pass while attenuating others. Uh, this is particularly important in current circuits where unwanted noise or interference can affect the performance of the system. So now let's focus on the Bessel filter. Uh, it's named after the German mathematician uh, Frederick Bessel. This type of filter is known for its unique characteristics. Uh, the Bessel filter is often chosen for applications uh, where maintaining the waveform shape and minimizing uh, phase distortion are critical as you can see also the output graph uh, it will be easy for you to understand it has a maximally flat group delay uh, which means uh, all frequencies are delayed by the same amount making it suitable for applications like audio and telecommunications and uh, if we now let's shift our attention to the Butterworth filter named after the British engineer Stephen Butterworth. This filter types as its own set of advantages. The Butterworth filter is known for its uh, maximally flat frequency response within the pass band. This characteristic makes it excellent for applications where a consistent gain is more critical than phase distortion such as in data communication systems and uh, now that we have a basic understanding of both filters uh, let's compare them side by side uh, we'll look at the key factors such as the role of rate phase response and applications to help you decide which filter might be more suitable for your specific needs and uh, understanding the theoretical differences is great but how to do these filters perform in real world scenarios whether you are working on audio equipment communication systems or any other applications we will explore practical examples to showcase the strength of each filter in various situations and uh, as you can see here this output graph is uh, as we discussed already is with a flat delayed is a Bessel type filter and here we have Butterworth we already discussed the Butterworth low pass high pass Butterworth low pass filter with noise and high pass filter with noise and similarly the only difference between them is the values you can say uh, the change in values of inductors and testers uh, the remainings are everything the same there is not much difference in the both waveforms the only in the case here we have the flat output delay here we have not flat output delay because here we have a, uh, a rush point in the start of the uh, waveforms and uh, there you have it a uh, comprehensive look at the cell and butterworth filters and concert uh, both have their unique strengths and choosing the right one depends on the specific requirements of uh, your application I hope this video helped you make an informed decision in your electronic project. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow electronic enthusiasts. Do not forget to comment below with and with your thoughts and any questions you may have. And please, if you require any type of assistance in your electrical and electronics project, you can ping me a message on my WhatsApp number that is given in the description. And also, you can visit my Upwork and Fiverr profiles if you need any type of assistance. Thank you so much for watching the video.